Hello and welcome to a short video about Jaguar XK8 Hidden Rust Issues. Uh, I'm a bit of a Jaguar XK8 enthusiast and uh, I love the look of the car. They're very shiny and uh, the body is, is beautiful. But underneath is a different story unfortunately, especially with UK cars. They're susceptible to rust and uh, rust in, in all the usual places. So you, you're going to find rust in all the usual places as I've said. Uh, most of it you're going to be able to see fairly easily. F uh, front sills, rear sills, wheel arches, rear wings, bumper mounts, chassis rails, foot wells, back and rear wing joints. All of these you'll be able to see quite easily as you walk around the exterior of the car. What we will be able to see uh, that's a little bit more tricky are basically what I believe are the three uh, critical areas which are not obvious or easy to find when you're viewing your XK8. First of all is the chassis rail behind the front cross member or inner wing. Secondly is the rear chassis rail inner wing area. Third is the rear cross member bracket or under the rear cross member bracket. Now in the video I'll I'm going to describe how to look for them and what you may find. First of all, chassis rail behind the front cross member or inner wing. To take a look at this, get your front wheels opposite lock and basically look inside the, the inner wing through the gap here. You should see something like this. So this is the front cross member casting, the steering rack here. Now the inner wing, in between the inner wing and the uh, cross member casting, there's a gap. In this gap is a double plated section of the inner wing or chassis rail section. Now this tends to rust from the inside out. Uh, moisture gets in between the steel I believe and you get a lot of corrosion. So stick a screwdriver in here and try and see if you're, you've got real bad corrosion issue. In my particular car's case, I spotted this after about 12 months of ownership. I stuck a screwdriver here and it, it, it penetrated. So I decided to take the front cross member off to try and weld repair it. I ended up with a big section having to come off. I mean, this is identical both sides. So if you get corrosion one side, my experience was the other side was similar, if not worse. In my particular case as well, the uh, one of the Dayton pins, which is here, had actually started to corrode the, the way the location so luckily I caught that just in time otherwise I could have lost the datum of the front cross member to the body which would have been a bit tricky to to fix. Um, in removing the front cross member uh, it is a DIY job if you've got some tools and in particular you're going to need a special tool called a f an engine uh, brace bar that goes up above the engine and sits on the inner wings that actually holds the engine up by take the front cross member off the bottom. Um, whilst you got the front cross member off you'll probably find lots of problems that you probably want to fix before you put it all back together. In my particular case again the front cross member was a bit tricky to get off because of the aluminium to steel corrosion to similar metals. Most of the fasteners uh, needed to be drilled off so then I ended up tapping everything out and uh, buying new bolts. Secondly, the, a lot of the bushes are found to be perished. The engine mounts had gone and uh, the list went on and on and on. But after I finished, I was quite confident the front cross member assembly and the suspension was in, uh, in good order. Now the second issue is the rear chassis rail area. Um, so again, if you're looking for this, you need to get behind the car, look inside the, the back wheel here, just underneath. You should see something like this. This is this, what I'm calling the sh rear chassis rail area. This is the inner wing, the bump stop, drive shaft. Uh, this section here of the chassis rail is actually again two bits of metal on top of each other, double skinned. Again, the moisture gets in behind, it rusts from the inside out. So you need to try and get your uh, screwdriver in here. You probably won't penetrate both pieces here, but 
if you do if you do have uh, rust through the first layer of steel, it's going to be trying to eat the way of the second layer. Here. So this is uh, my particular car, the double plated section. I've grinded away the old plate here. You can see it started to crawl through the base metal as well. To caught it just in time. Again, you can see here the pivot uh, or the datum peg for the rear uh, suspension assembly, uh, similar to what I described on the front. So if you get all the corrosion here, you're going to lose your datums again. So it's quite an easy repair once you've got the rear cross member and the rear suspension out. But again, it's quite a big job. You do have to have, uh, uh, you do have to uh, take off the exhaust, uh, obviously take disconnect the main drive shaft and much like the front cross member once you've got it off there's lots of potential issues you're going to find most of the bushes in my case I felt I needed to change because I didn't want to try and take the rear cross member off again uh, so I changed all the bushes uh, the diff oil and it all adds up to quite, quite a lot of money so you're going to need a little bit of budget even if you have got the time and space to do it Last but not least, uh, number three is under the rear cross member bracket. So, if you look just in uh, in front of the rear wheels uh, in the sill area here underneath, there's a bracket that bolts from the body to the rear cross member and the rear suspension. Now, this bracket, uh, you probably see something like this. This bracket's heavily corroded. You probably find this or something similar, or something that's heavily uh, under sealed. But the realistic thing is that, that people don't take this bracket off before they're under sealing. So behind this bracket, there's a gap. And obviously in the gap, it collects all the dirt, leaves, and it will rot from the outside in. You can see I've took the bracket off. You can see the soil buildup uh, that's, that's happened underneath the bracket. So if you want to test this area, try and stick your screwdriver inside the gap and see if it's penetrated the body. Uh, in most cases, I think you'll probably find in the older cars, it definitely will have gone through. So if you take the bracket off, you're gonna left with the, the mountain area, something like this. You'll see the probably rust along the sill area, rust directly behind the bracket, and uh, maybe an odd bit of penetration on the on the flat area. But this relatively easy to fix. Taking the front, the, the, these cross member bracket off is relatively easy. Uh, you do have to support the rear suspension or rear, under the rear cross member or diff but then you can just unbolt the brackets and take them off relatively easy you're going to need a probably a long bar and make sure the the car is stable but the the bolts do come off easily um to fix it obviously you just have to put new material in weld if you can weld it's it's relatively easy fix okay so that's the three hidden rust issues I believe people need to know about. Um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more XK videos.